It's thrilling when a new lead comes in with a potential website project. As a freelancer, it's tough to say no to any type of work. In fact, some of us will accept any type of client, even if it maybe wasn't the best fit. Though it's tempting to take on work to keep the money flowing, you will find a time it can pay off to be selective, especially for your sanity. When a new prospective client reaches out, you don't need to be a fortune teller to decide if they'll be a good fit. Hey, I didn't ask about that. By providing them with a simple questionnaire, you can clarify what they need, why, and when, allowing you to determine if this is the right project for you. I know you may be rolling your eyes, but doing this in this way can save you time and unnecessary aggravation for both your client and yourself. And we made it easier for you, as we've got 14 questions you should include in this questionnaire. The first one of which should be, what's their budget? Even though you may work on projects both large and small, it's important to know what your client is working with, so you can understand if they have reasonable expectations or if they don't. When a client says something such as, this is such an easy fix, this is going to take a few minutes of your time, something like that, the client is actually estimating the work for you. That's a huge red flag. And the same comes with budget. When the client comes to you and he says like, um, they say something such as, well, I talked to another developer and they are willing to do that by, you know, by half. That's also another red flag. I mean, my experience, that's usually never the case. They're only talking to you, but they, they want to have some kind of leverage on you so that you lower your prices. If their idea of cost is all over the place, this could be a red flag. Or they're just uninformed. If you're fuzzy on how to price your business, be sure to check out our pricing video, which you can click on right there. The next question you'll want them to answer is, what is their target launch date? Most clients will have reasonable timeframes, however, be wary of those who do not. Hard deadlines can put you in a corner. This is also a good reason to have a rush fee policy in your back pocket. One, you'll deserve the extra money if they agree to pay it. But more importantly, it may convince them to rethink their timelines. Question three. How would you describe your business or organization? It seems obvious, but it's info that you will need to have an understanding of their mission, values, and vision. If they have trouble articulating this, you can expect to have to rework the website over and over and over and over again, well, until they figure it out, if they do. <laughs> this would be a good time to also ask, why is the current site no longer meeting their needs? It's critical to know if their current site can't technically accommodate a needed feature, or if their site design is old and no longer matches their brand identity. This will help to clarify the direction for the design, as well as answer to the next question. What motivates your target audience's buying decisions? <laughs> I was hungry. Understanding how your client's product or service solves their audience's problem and what motivates their buying decisions is vital to building an effective website. If they don't know these things, the project is not going to get anywhere fast. If they know what motivates their audience, they will know what makes their products and or services unique. The site's messaging and positioning will need to be built around the client's unique selling proposition. This way, your client's clients will know that they are like-minded in approach and objectives. This will influence the call to action, so the client should have an idea of what their CTA should be. A savvy business owner will know the exact steps they want visitors to take, so having a clear CTA is vital. How will the client measure the success of their new site? This is important to ask because clients will sometimes assume a new site will address revenue under performance. So you want to set the right expectations based on their current site performance and create a plan that addresses the success factors they seek to optimize. The best of which are based on quantifiable values, such as increase in inquiries, visitor traffic, frequency of site visits, sales, donations, event registrations, volunteers, referrals, positive reviews, or social media engagement. How will they attract new visitors to their new site? It would be nice if the philosophy, if you build it, they will come, worked. But as you know, that strategy may fall a bit flat. It takes more than a top-listed Google listing to bring in loads of traffic. 
The pragmatic client will understand it takes a multifaceted approach. Knowing their plan before you start gives you the opportunity to set them up for success in this new endeavor. What features are needed for their site to be successful? Clearly, there's more to a website than text and images, so make sure your potential client is clear if they need any forms, live chat, galleries, e-commerce, directories, calendars, or other interactive functionality. More than likely, they will have too many feature ideas and you'll have to rein them in. Do they have established branding messages or style guidelines? You don't wanna make a site that doesn't fit their current brand standards. If they don't have any, you will wanna tell them to take a step back and get those things in order or developed as it's probably pointless to put a site together without it. Hey, yeah, I think we should hold off on the project until you get your brand guide in order. What do you like or dislike about your top competitors' sites and messaging? Having a clear picture of what they like and don't like about their competitors can provide inspiration and gives you the opportunity to create something that stands apart from them. This goes hand in hand with understanding what are three of their favorite websites. Because we want our clients to love their new site, understanding what appeals to them, even if it's outside of their market, can be a great insight to achieving a successful website design. And finally, what additional services are required? You want to be explicit about what you are to work on in building a new website, and clients will either assume or not know what is required to truly complete a website. Who will create content, provide photography, or SEO optimization? These are just some of the many essential services that go along with any web design project that they may not think of. Before taking on any web project, it's critical that both the client and the designer have a clear understanding of the parameters around what needs to be done and by whom. Starting with a clear list of questions and new client questionnaire brings to light unexpected red flags, leads to a more accurate proposal, confirms and clarifies expectations, and ensures successful results. Hey devs, if you like what you've been seeing, like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you'll stay in the know.